Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfect Snailers, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biochemistry playlist. We have been talking about nutrition for a while. We finished the fat-soluble vitamins and the water-soluble vitamins. We talked about vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin A. Today, let's talk about a vitamin-like substance known as choline. What are the symptoms of choline deficiency? What's the daily requirement of choline? And what does choline do in my body? What are the functions? We'll learn about all of this today, so let's get started. Please watch the videos in this biochemistry playlist in order. First, patient presents with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The liver is fatty, but it's not caused by alcohol. A second patient presents with elevated plasma level of alanine transaminase or alanine aminotransferase. A third patient is having muscle weakness. What do these all three patients have in common? Answer. All of them are choline deficient. Choline deficiency can make my muscles weak and can make my liver fatty with elevated alanine aminotransferase. In rodent experiments, the rats or mice who were choline deficient also developed liver cancer and memory loss, which makes sense because choline in the body makes acetylcholine, which is a neurotransmitter, and in the brain acetylcholine has memory loss related functions. That's why patients with Alzheimer's disease have low acetylcholine in the brain, particularly in the nucleus basalis of Maynard. Remember what we said about vitamins? Why do you call them vitamins? It's a misnomer from vital amines, even though mostly they are not amines. They are organic, they are micronutrients, they are essential, they are coenzymes or precursors to coenzymes, and they aid in metabolism, antioxidants, collagen synthesis like vitamin C, help develop the red blood cells, and vitamin D is also a hormone. We divided vitamins into water-soluble vitamins and fat-soluble vitamins, and we compared between the two before. The water-soluble vitamins are vitamin Bs and vitamin C. The fat-solubles are vitamin K, vitamin E, vitamin D, vitamin A. Note that the water-soluble vitamins are coenzymes, but fat-soluble vitamins, for the most part, are not coenzymes. And we said that each vitamin has biochemical functions. Some vitamins play a role in reduction oxidation reactions. Vitamin B6 is important for transamination. In fact, the ALT level in the blood is measuring the ability of the liver to make alanine aminotransferase. Aminotransferase is transamination reaction, requiring vitamin B6 as a cofactor. So what's the function of choline then? Methylation, baby. Choline can donate methyl groups. Choline, is it a vitamin? Eh, it's a vitamin, but more properly, it's vitamin-like substance. Water-soluble or lipid-soluble? Water-soluble. It is essential. Even though your body can make some choline, the amount of choline synthesized by your body is not enough. That's why you need to have choline in your diet, such as milk, beef, chicken, broccoli, peanuts, seafood, eggs, etc. Functions of choline in the body are many. Choline can become betaine, and betaine is a methyl group donor, important for methylation reaction. Example, look at this. I'm donating methyl group to homocysteine so that homocysteine becomes methionine. And that's why there is some evidence that choline supplements will lower homocysteine level in the blood, which makes sense because I'm converting homocysteine into something else by giving it a methyl group, so the level of homocysteine in my blood will go down. How good is this clinically speaking is not clear yet. We know that babies who are born with genetic defects and they end up with homocysteinuria or homocysteinemia disease have higher risks of heart attacks and strokes. But when I take choline supplements or choline in the food and it lowers my homocysteine, does that necessarily equal an actual real-life decrease in my risk of cardiovascular diseases? Still debatable. Next, choline will help with lipid transport because it helps us make lipoproteins. Lipoproteins are the vessels by which we transport fat from the liver to the blood 
and that's why if I have choline deficiency, the fat will pile up in my liver and I will get fatty liver disease. What do you call the substance that removes fat from the liver and put it somewhere else? Lipotropic agent or lipotropin. The act of removing fat from the liver is called lipotropy. Choline, of course, will make acetylcholine the famous neurotransmitter in the brain. It's important for memory. It's important for the function of the autonomic nervous system. Recall that all of the preganglionic fibers release acetylcholine. As for the postganglionic ones, the parasympathetic postganglionic fibers release acetylcholine. And if you are a sympathetic fiber going to the adrenal medulla, you will also release acetylcholine. So choline is a big deal. Next, choline is all about fat. It will help us make fat, sphingomyelin, which will help us make myelin, which covers and insulates and increase the conduction speed in many of your nerves. Moreover, it will help us make phosphatidylcholine, the famous lecithin, which is a surfactant. It's also important for your cell membrane integrity. Even though you may have no integrity whatsoever, your cell membrane does. And since you have like a hundred trillion cells in your body, you have hundred trillion cell membranes with integrity thanks to choline. Next, it will also help us make glycerophosphorylcholine important for your cell membrane. Here is the daily requirement for females and males in milligrams per day. Most people have no problem getting enough choline through their diet every day. Choline deficiency is rare. If it takes place, it can lead to muscle weakness, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, elevated transaminases, especially alanine transaminase or alanine aminotransferase. There is some evidence that taking choline supplements may lower my blood cholesterol and my serum homocysteine level. There is also some evidence that city choline supplements, which are choline derivatives, can decrease nerve damage in patients after stroke and can decrease eye damage in patients with glaucoma. There are no solutions in life, only trade-offs, as Dr. Thomas Saul says. People who take huge amounts of choline supplements may suffer from increased risk of cardiovascular disease, excessive sweating, and fishy body odor. If you want to learn more about different body odors, I have a video about abnormal body odors in this channel. Do you remember acetylcholine, the famous neurotransmitter? How do you make it? Acetyl-CoA plus choline. Thanks to the enzyme choline acetyltransferase, you have acetylcholine. It's a neurotransmitter, also important for memory function in the brain. What's a nerve? A nerve is a collection of axons in the peripheral nervous system. Many of your nerves are myelinated. In order to make myelin, you need sphingomyelin. And in order to make sphingomyelin, you need choline. Remember the difference between sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system? Have you watched my autonomic physiology videos? Recall that all of the preganglionic fibers secrete acetylcholine. Choline. As for the postganglionic, the parasympathetic ones secrete acetylcholine, but the sympathetic ones release norepinephrine. Look at this. Choline will become betaine. Betaine will give methyl group to homocysteine so that homocysteine becomes methionine. Then methionine can give its methyl group acquired from betaine or from methyl tetrahydrofolate, will give that methyl group to SAM and Uncle Sam becomes the methyl group donor, even though it's a tax collector, haha. <laughs> when the liver wants to get rid of the fat in the liver, how does the liver do it? The liver will put it onto vessels known as lipoproteins, who aids in this process? Choline does. Hashtag lipotropic. That's why choline deficiency can lead to fatty liver disease. Medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. And here's again everything you need to know about choline. Please pause and review and make sure to eat well. There are many toxins on earth. It's the dose that makes the poison. You can learn more about all kinds of toxin by downloading my toxicology course on my website, medicosisperfectgenetics.com. You can also learn about obstetrics and gynecology, normal pregnancy, and the diseases of pregnancy, including acute fatty liver disease of pregnancy, cholestasis of pregnancy, and much more by downloading my OBGYN high yield,
If you do not wish to download my courses and would rather watch these premium videos right here on YouTube, click on the join button and choose the highest tier. It will give you instant access to more than 300 premium videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, click the join button, support the channel here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses, notes, and cases. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.